Welcome back to Vivex Designer. Today we are taking our Figma skill up a notch. So you have mastered the art of sharing files with your clients and it's been a smooth sailing. But now let's talk about the teamwork. Collaborating with your UX design squad at a work. Imagine you are not alone on a project. There are multiple creative minds at a play. To make this seamless, we are diving into the realm of teams and team projects. Now you had a good run with the drafts, right? Unlimited drafts, a designer's dream. But here's the plot twist. If you are teaming up with colleagues, it's time for a change. So let's imagine one scenario. Like you are working on a critical project, but your team is scattered across different platforms, drawing in feedback and desperately trying to stay on the same page. So it's enough to make even the most seasoned designer want to pull their hair out. But what if there was a way to collaborate seamlessly, share file effortlessly and keep everyone in the loop? So we are introducing Figma Teams, your one-stop shop for design collaborative in Nirvana. So currently I'm in home and in draft. So we have this option called Teams. It might be like this in your interface, but it can have one project. So let's create a new team. So let's check out some like benefits of the Figma Pro. Okay, so with free, like currently we are using free. So we get one project, three design file and three Figma files and three pages per design. And with the professional version, we get this new features and other features as well. So currently we want to use free version. So let's create a team and let me give a uh, like I am missionary. Okay, let's create a team. Okay, now let's add an email ID. Like let's say you want to add some people. So I want to add one people. That is gonna be me <laughs> with my different ID. Okay, you can add multiple peoples in there. Uh, there is a no limit. You can add unlimited peoples. It is again showing the like premium version, but I want to stay with my startup pack. So I'm gonna choose startup pack. And we got a free version of team. Okay, so it does not have anything right now. So let's say we are working with drafts and we want to add some team members in our design so let's say we are working on this project and we want to add some team members in our design so i can just drag this file and i can add this into like uh, our team that is imaginary team now it is in the teams now let's open it okay so currently that person is not available over here because that person did not accept our request so let me go to uh, let me log in with that account and let me accept the request okay so i logged in with that account and i got this design now i can just drag any element or I can add any element and I can do whatever I want. I can add punch of uh, like let me say elements like this. I can add colors. Okay, I'm doing it first. Okay, so if I go to my main account again, so as you can see, it is also available here. So let me do like this. Okay, so I'm also able to see that person like what he is doing in our design and uh, what kind of changes is making and we can also assign like in real time like okay i don't want this color change it into something else so you can change that like this so that's the benefit of collaborative teams and using teams so for now i will quit this because i hope you get the point like how team works but let me tell you other features of the teams okay so with teams we get share work based like this and in this we can add multiple files but we are using free version so we are able to create only three files as you can see we currently use one we have two left and also three figgem files in share workplace we are able to share files prototype and figgem at the same time we can also do thread comments like uh, in some of our design that person can just go to this rectangle and add comment and uh, we can get a reply at an instant at a real time we also get version control after that that person can get role based access like we want to uh, keep our information safe. So in that case, we can assign the role. With teams, we are able to project management. Like uh, in this, we can organize our project templates, task list, and due dates. And we are able to also centralize our design system. And after end of the project, we can analyze our project. Like uh, we can gain uh, valuable insight from our team activities and identify areas to improvement. But I will suggest you one thing. Let's say you are working solo. So in that case, don't use teams, just go with the drafts because drafts uh, are more easier and with drafts, we are able to add multiple pages. But in teams, you can see we are able to only add three pages, but in drafts, we can able to add multiple pages and there are no like any uh, limitation. So the balance between free and paid plans depends on the specific need and the scale of your design work. So that's how to create a team, uh, add multiple uh, collaborators in our team, 
and the features of the team. I hope you understand all of this. Uh, I will say again one thing. Uh, if you are working solo, though, you don't require uh, teams. But if you are working with like two or three members, you can that time you can go to teams and upgrade to professional version. So that's it for today's video guys and I will see you guys in the next one.